Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video I want to cover the new rules for melding materia in patch 3.2. Now, materia melding has been around for a while, as has a lot of this information. However, a lot of people really didn't get into materia melding before this recent patch, and that's because it was kind of only on crafted gear, and not everyone really ever bothered with crafted gear. But now, there's new rules, there's new materia, and there's new means of maximizing your character. So I wanted to do a video explaining how to identify things such as stat caps, and how to understand what you can meld, what you will lose if you meld at certain times. So, hopefully this information is useful to you. Now, I won't be telling you class per class or job per job what you need to meld onto gear. I'm only going to give you the information about how stat caps work, as well as how you can compare crafted gear to raid gear and things like that. If you like, I can do a video regarding recommendations for the individual jobs, but we are still waiting on new stat weights. So until we have that, it's really just tentative information to begin with. But with that out of the way, let's actually get into some materia talk. Now, what can have materia melded onto it? Well, prior to the patch, it was just crafted gear, including gear that crafters and gatherers use, and any crafted gear that combat classes could use. All dungeon gear, raid gear, none of that could really use materia at all. Now, as of this patch, the most important gear that can use materia is raid gear and the higher item level crafted gear. So basically, all 220 or higher gear introduced in patch 3.2 now have materia slots. That includes crafted gear, as you can see I'm wearing a ton of it, extreme primal gear, uh, tombstone gear, with this tier being tombstones of lore, upgraded tombstone gear, as well as gear obtained from Alexander Midas, Normal, and Savage. So we're going to explain the different rules here between the crafted gear and the gear that you actually get from doing content. First, because I have most of it, let's actually cover crafted gear. Now, crafted gear has two materia slots in primary armor slots. What I mean by a primary armor slot is your weapon, head, body, hands, legs, or feet. Now, that it only has one materia slot in accessories, which includes your belt, neck, earring, wrist, and rings. Now, what do these different slots do? As you can see, I have far more than two materia put into this crafted gear right here. So, whenever you make a piece of armor, you'll notice that it has two, or one, in the case of accessories, materia slots available. Let's pull up this list right here, and I can just check some of my gathering gear. There it is. So that's botanist gloves. You can see it only has two materia slots on it, and in the case of my belts, you can see that this only has one materia slot on it. So how am I doing five slots? Well, we'll explain that in a second, but these materia slots that are present on gear initially, even when they're empty, we are going to call 100% slots. Why do we call them that? Well, because you have a 100% chance of successfully melding materia to those slots. Any slot after these guaranteed slots has a chance of failure. This is called forbidden melding, and we'll be talking about it a little bit later. Now, what can I meld in these 100% slots? Well, you can meld main stats, as long as they aren't capped, as well as off stats. Now, in forbidden slots, which as you can see in crafted gear, you are able to go past the limits of slots at the cost of potentially losing the materia when you try to meld it on. In these off slots, or in these forbidden slots, advanced slots, whatever you want to call them, you can only meld off stats. So you can't meld things like strength, vitality, or uh, dexterity. Things like that can't be melded into off stats, or into these forbidden slots. Now, that's good, that's good information, but we need to know how much of these materials we can actually put in gear, and that's probably where I get the most of my questions. Now, I'm using all high-quality crafted gear, and that's for good reason. In normal-quality crafted gear, none of the stats on the gear are natively capped. However, with high-quality crafted gear, there are quite a few stat cap stats. For example, we have this HQ body, this Icon Cloth Acton of Scouting. Now, because it's high quality, we know that its primary damage stat, Dexterity, is capped. We know that Vitality is capped. And we know that one of the two present off stats is capped. And this is where your information really comes down to deduction and how you can tell how much you can meld onto it for each stat. Now we have this I-220 piece, and as you can see, it has 100 accuracy and 70 critical hit rate. Now, with that 100 accuracy, I know that for the majority of my off stats, accuracy is showcasing that cap stat. So with 100 accuracy, I know that not only does accuracy cap at 100, but critical hit rate caps at 100, parry caps at 100, skill speed and spell speed cap at 100, 
but there are different rules for different stats. Determination has a lower stat cap than all of its other offstat equivalents. You can see that as we compare one of my rings with my wrists. The ring has 44 determination, which because one offstat is always capped, you can tell that that is the cap for determination. However, if you look at my wrist, you can see critical hit rate has a value of 46, which is two points higher than the cap of determination. So, knowing that, you're pretty easily able to identify what these stat caps are on different gear. Now, it's not always going to be that two-point difference you just saw right there. It depends on which slot we're talking about. It depends on what item level we're talking about. For example, at I220, 44 is the cap for determination and 46 is the cap for all the other offstats. When it comes to the body and legs, 100 is the cap for accuracy, crit, all those other ones. The cap for determination is 96. On my head, my gloves and my boots, my cap for critical hit rate is 62. And my crap, uh, my crap, ha, yes, my cap for determination is 59, three points lower. And on the weapon, my cap is 108 on most of my offstats, but my cap for determination is 103. So you can kind of see a trend going here. Just know it'll always be a few points lower. Now, I am not on a healer right now, although I do have a healer, it just doesn't have much gear to use as an example. I pretty much just have this. But stat caps on healers and casters are a bit different, mainly because of piety and vitality. Now, piety and vitality are considered main stats and do follow all the same rules. They cannot be forbidden melded. That being said, they do have different caps. They don't cap at the same values as main stats such as mind, int, dex, and strength all cap. Piety is usually near or below the mind cap. Now, as you can see, mind cap's at 119 on my Star of Sephiroth, my I-220 EX Primal weapon. That being said, that cap is not necessarily true for piety. Now, I actually pulled it up here over on the side since I don't actually have a piety chart right here or means of referring to it and piety actually also caps at 119 on this weapon obviously there's no way i could hit the stat cap because i don't have enough materia slots to do so however that rule begins to rapidly change as we get past item level 220 if i take a look at ariala's website which you can use as your final fantasy 14 toolkit to help you map out your materia melding and your gear preferences i see that the prototype might and metal cane which is item level 245 mind caps at 148 and piety caps at 128. So the difference becomes quite different <laughs> as the item level increases for piety. Just know that its caps will always be at or lower your main stat in the case of mind and intelligence. You probably won't put piety on anything but healer gear. I wouldn't recommend it. Now, when it comes to vitality, vitality is also always capped on these things, but for casters and healers, the vitality cap is lower than other pieces. Uh, for example, you can see I have 119 mind here and 115 vitality, whereas if I switch back to my ninja, the same type of weapon, same item level, I have 119 dexterity and 128 vitality, just because casters and healers, they don't want them having as much health. You probably won't be ever melding these things because it's already stat capped anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? On HQ crafted gear, and we'll be talking about raid and primal gear here in a second. Just know that both stats still follow the general means of recognizing the caps, you just, odds are, will never be introduced into a situation where that is present. M Piety is the only one where that's a situation, but following the rules I just told you, if it's even, if it's the higher off stat you should still be able to identify it now moving on to extreme primal gear uh, or extreme primal weapons tombstone gear midas normal midas savage it pretty much follows a lot of the same rules uh, same thing the primary armor slots have two open materia slots as you can see here and the accessories have one primary open materia slot since this is the only uh, raid gear equivalent I have you can see that it only has that one slot available now, like I said, following the HQ crafted gear rules for determining main stats and offsets, it pretty much follows the same thing. You can tell dexterity is capped here, vitality is capped here, because it takes the same rules as high quality crafted gear. You can tell that accuracy is capped at 46 here, and you know critical hit rate, well, I could add at most 14 more critical hit rate to this. So all those rules we covered for HQ crafted gear pretty much work here as well. The only thing is, you cannot use advanced or forbidden melding, whatever you want to call it, on raid gear, extreme primal gear, or tombstone gear. You can only use those guaranteed slots that we talked about earlier. This means that you usually aren't customizing too much. You're usually filling in just one thing, maybe a little bit of accuracy, maybe a little bit of crit here and there, but you have far fewer options as opposed to this, where I can just stick five materia into it as long as I got the money to keep blowing stuff up.
I mean, there's pros and cons. The pro is that you'll never lose materia trying to meld it on. However, the con is you don't have as many options. So just make sure that one or two materia slots that you have, you're using wisely. Now, main stats are always capped on these. So even though you can only meld main stats into non-forbidden melding, unless you're talking about accessories, you're probably not ever going to do that. I mean, dexterity vitality is capped. Why would I meld dexterity or vitality onto this? Now, when it comes to accessories, tanks, obviously they're using vitality accessories this patch. So strength is a viable option to put into the accessory material. Just don't try to stick it into any of the stuff on the left side because it has, it has both strength and vitality for tanks. Just keep that in mind. Now, the biggest thing is, like I said, forbidden melding is forbidden, so be very careful about those materia melds. The biggest question I get asked, though, this is raid tier gear. This is Alexander Midas normal gear. However, Tomestone of Lore gear can be upgraded from I-230 to I-240. So the big question is, do I lose my materia I melded on if I upgrade it from 230 to 240? And the answer is is yes. So, unless you have a lot of gill lying around or a lot of extra grade 5 materials, however you procured them, I wouldn't recommend throwing grade 5 materials into your I-230 stuff unless you're sure you're going to have it for a very, very long time. Hopefully that answers the majority of the questions people had about Materia. I do have other resources on it. They're older resources, and some of them obviously won't apply anymore. But if you have general questions about how to unlock it, um, what Forbidden Melding actually is, how you can determine percentages and things like that, go to my channel, search the, the word Materia, and you should find some results. While you're there, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And let me know if you do want me to do one of those individual job videos for different stat caps. I don't really know. If you guys ask me to, I'll do it pretty much. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one, and until then, take care.